In this video, we're going to go over global variables. So first, let's create a way to call different methods to use as a, so to use as an example. So all right, now we can call different methods. Let's create a let's just call method one and method two. Public void method one. That is not what I meant to do. And we'll say public void method two. All right. So a global variable can be used by any method, but the way we make it is we create it inside the class. Well, because as you remember, if I declare a variable in here, it can only be used inside the set of curly braces. Let's say I had a for loop, print i equals zero, i less than 11, i plus plus. The i variable can only be used right here inside this for loop. And any variable can only be used inside its uh, inside the curly braces that it's created under. So global one I can use any to make it to where I can use anywhere I want. We just put it inside the class. So I'll just say int i equals zero. That means I can print i from method one. If I can type this correctly at least. Um, I'm having so much trouble typing in this video. Anyways, I'm print i from method 1. I can increment i by 2. And then I can go ahead and print it in method 2. Then I can call method 1 and method 2. If I run this program, it'll increment i out like between these methods. Or I'm sorry, not between them. So we start out with i equals zero. We went to method one, we printed that, and then we decided to add two to i, and we printed that right here. And using this, I can use i as a counter between different methods. If different methods are going to do different things to the count. Say one method always adds 5 to it, one method adds 3 to it. Well, I can just keep track of that here. Alright, but one thing that you need to watch out for with global variables, there are a lot of rules with using them. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to remember just one of them. Never do what I'm about to do right here. And let me put a note on there. Do... Do... There it is. Do not do this. Okay, so I can actually declare int i equal 5 here, and I can print int i. So this creates a different integer i than the one right here, which is considered bad form. Public void method 4. So if I print method, well, let me call methods 3 and 4 and show you what happens. The i in method 4 down here will be the same i that's in method 2. So it should print 0, uh, 2. So it'll print 0 for this method because int i starts at 0. Then it'll add 2, and then it'll print i again, which will be 2. Then it'll print the different i, so it'll print 0, 2, 5, and 2. 0, 2, 5, 2. But in general, just do not, once you have a global variable, don't call something else that same variable. Uh, it can get a little hard to keep track of, and it's very easy to avoid. And then there's rules with passing integers in, but I don't want to go over those. Because I shouldn't need to because it is bad form. Anyways, I hope this video helped you. I hope uh, you will be using global variables a lot, I think. 
and I'll be going over those in my next few videos. I'll use those and different methods fairly frequently. Uh, counters are very important in Java. As you've liked this video, hit like down below, and please share it with your friends so everyone knows where they can go for Java help. Thanks for watching.